Good morning, modern steaders. We got our first big snowstorm. We got, oh, about, I'd say, four inches of snow, and now it's a sleet, rainy mix. We need to clean off the truck and do some plowing. <laughs> first time for the season, guys. You guys enjoying the snow? Pluto already made yellow snow. Don't eat that. Now it's raining and yucky. Ugh. I hate when it rains and freezing rain on top of the snow. It makes it heavy and wet. We're gonna get snow, just snow. We'll let the truck defrost and get nice and toasty warm for us. And while we're doing that, let's go and take care of the animal chores, guys. Ah, snow under the old feet. So picturesque. I wonder if the goats will go out today. My guess is no. <laughs> What's your guess? Leave it in the comments down below. Oh, if you guys haven't seen any of our snow plowing videos, you're in for a treat today. I left the heat on last night, so let's see how it is in the workshop. Temperature is 44. That's not bad. I can live with that. We could turn the heat up in here to 50 or 60 and get it pretty warm with it, probably a half an hour of working. Hey, settle down over there, would ya? The wind must have been blowing pretty good. Your hay's covered in snow. And that's a good sized roof overhang too. I'm surprised there's that much snow in there. Can you hear that ice? <sighs> Good morning, Buttercup. No? You're not coming out, Willow? Their water is still not frozen. I like that blossom. You in heat this morning? You're quiet. Got the hay out here. Is Buttercup still the only one outside? Buttercup's the brave soul. Is that some good hay? You can come out, you know. Yeah, you'll be okay in the snow. I'm sure glad we got all of our firewood in the firewood shed. <laughs> oh, that feels good having that undercover. Not sure how Moose and his ladies are gonna like this weather. You gonna come out? You coming out? They're like, yeah, no. You want me to feed you inside? There, we'll feed them inside today. I'll keep their water out here though. You know you want to come out, don't you? He's like, I do. I heard that water being poured. <sighs> They'll mosey their way on out. What do you think, Figaro, huh? What do you think? Me coming back in the house, you're staying outside. Oh, the truck is toasty warm. And we got our coffee, guys. Let's get plowing.
I think I'm gonna have to come out here with my chainsaw and cut down all these little small brush trees so I can push the snow banks further back because if we're getting snow this early in the season. Sure, I don't back into nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's one of the worst things with the first couple of snowstorms. The ground was frozen this year. 
with that fresh snow on there overnight pulled the frost out of the ground you can see in that left corner right there I'm digging up a bunch of gravel and you just uh, you make such a mess when the ground's not completely frozen when you're plowing so we'll see what happens if this snow stays it'll be a good thing for that but if we lose it all and we get fresh snow again we'll be digging up the driveways and the road all over again got the road all opened up and they just canceled school for the day. If they cancel school this often or for this little bit of snow this year, we're gonna have a long year this year. The kids will be going to school till August, I bet you. You ready for this? <laughs> Where is the shovels room here? Yes, I know my car is full of snow and I could park it in the shed, but I'd rather Kubota be under there so when I wanna grab it for chores to get all my stuff out. See guys, it's not me making her talk the Subaru out here. Although some people probably be like, why is my car not in there? But at this moment, it's not in there. I want the tractor there. It's pretty heavy and wet. We talked about putting something here, but you can't do it with the roof line. No, with the roof line, it's in. I don't know how it would work. Ready to plow the lane for the first time? Going on our date. Going on a date? Yeah. Plowing date. We used to do dates on the plow. We used to. spot in the driveway right here when we put the new road and go into the lane we'll be flattening that out right now with the plow oh you gotta love the first time plowing everything
think that looks pretty good for the first time plowing the lane. That's good. One of those things, plowing for the first time, you always make a muddy mess. Was it as much fun as you remembered? <laughs> Are you sure, Paul? Yeah, why not? Oh. No. <laughs> I was gonna work on the water storage out in the workshop today, and then I remembered the bacon's done curing in the fridge. It's been seven days since we started our bacon curing. So today we need to get them out of the package, rinse them off, and then let them air dry for anywhere from 12 hours to six days. I know, right? Six days is crazy. And then we can smoke them. So ours will sit for about 24, 18 to 24 hours, and then we'll smoke them. So we gotta get these packages opened up and everything rinsed off. I know I'm gonna make a mess, so I might as well put my apron on now. And that way I don't have to worry about getting my shirt all wet. Now I know why farmhouses had such big deep sinks. If you're doing stuff like this, a big old sink would be amazing. Get all that liquid. Mm -mm -mm. That's because that's nice, fresh bacon, or pork bellies, I should say. If you're using a store bought pork belly, you probably won't get that much liquid off of your, your belly when it's done curing, because it's already gonna have dried over how old it is. And that looks good. Alright, I'm going to finish rinsing off the rest of these pork bellies, and then I'll be right back when I'm finished with this. So now I want to pat dry the slabs of bacon. I'm going to stick them in the fridge for, oh, 12 to 18 hours, and in about, in about, 10 hours or so, I'm gonna check them. If I need to flip them, I'll flip them. If they're really wet again, I'll dry them off. Look at that side view of bacon. Oh, that's gonna make some delicious bacon. Eggs and bacon, mm-mm-mm. Can't wait to get these smoking. Look at that, fresh from the hey, snow stop. bank. Covered this in is snow. Embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing? That's stop. fresh, that's fresh, natural refrigerated carrots. These are the carrots I dug out of the snow bank.
Man, is it cold out. 19 degrees and the temperature keeps dropping. Oh, I'm gonna put a couple extra logs on the fire tonight, huh, Libby? Uh-huh. Well, some of you ladies are out a little bit. Yeah, we'll feed you inside. Now you're coming out. How many? Ten. Ten. I'm gonna say six. Let's see. Two. Three. Four, but it's broken, so it's going in the coop. Five, six. Six eggs and one of them frozen cracked. The ducks love the snow. Burr. Nice in here, girls. Out of the wind. So nice. Hi, guys. Who pooped in your water? Huh? There's poop all in your water over here. Poopy. Oh, my. Little P, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be up there. Dad, look at little P. Oh yeah, that's what she likes to do, huh? I know, and I know how she gets up there. Gotta get it quick. Hi, Goldies. You guys want some hay? Come on. Put some hay in your feeder. You still got hay in your feeder. Look at that. So that's some good stuff. It's nice and warm in here, out of the wind, huh? I like it better in here. Did you make a fort? I did. My stairs. That's right here. It's a chair. There you go. I got a slide here. Here's my snowball collection. This is the door. Oh, you got a door and everything. Look yeah. at that. There's only snowballs. Nice. And then here's my bridge. Love it. And this is my shoe. And then these little blocks. Perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, cool beans. You ready to go in? No. No? There's nothing better than homemade soup with homemade egg noodles and then cornbread to go with it. Oh, so delicious. What a perfect night for soup. Oh, that being said, it's way too early to be getting snow already. It's going to be another six months of winter at this pace. Hope it melts and then we have warm weather here to come, guys. Leave in the comments down below where you live. What's the weather like? I know there's been a lot of places that have been getting this cold and snowy weather already. And remember, it's a journey, not a race. No matter where you are in life or what's going on, just remember, we don't have to race to get there. We just always need to be pushing forward and striving for something new. If we get stumble upon something, that doesn't mean we fail. It just means it's a learning lesson. I gotta remind myself that all the time. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. <laughs>